Hello, welcome to my GIMP video tutorial series. In this video I will show you the GIMP Warp Transform. So what is GIMP Warp Transform? GIMP Warp Transform is a tool that you can warp an image like move the pixels, grow the part of the image, shrink the part of the image, erase the warp to change it back to original image, and so on and so forth. So in this video I will teach you how to use the GIMP Warp Transform. In here, we have 7 Warp Transform tools to choose. The first one I will teach you is the Move Pixels. This tool will move pixels part of the image by clicking mouse left and drag it to the image. The second Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Grow Area. This will grow the certain area where your mouse is pointed to. The next Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Shrink Area. This will shrink the certain area where your mouse is pointed to. The next Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Swirl Clockwise. This will swirl clockwise the certain area of the image where your mouse is pointed to. The next Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Swirl Counterclockwise. This will swirl counterclockwise the certain area of the image where your mouse is pointed to. The next Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Erase Warping. This will erase the warping back to the original image. The next Warp Transform tool I will teach you is the Smooth Warping. This one is the same as the Erase Warping functionality, but the difference here is that Smooth Warping helps smooth the warping you created with less severe, and Erase Warping is not smooth, therefore it's hard to maintain the desired smooth you like.
Beneath this options, first we have is size level. This will change the size of the brush. The next tool we have is hardness level. This will transform smoothly as we decrease the hardness level. If we increase it, this will create a harsh transformation. The next tool we have is strength level. This will determine how much strength our brush can get as we drag this to the image. If we decrease this, you may not see the difference. But, if you increase this, you can see the big difference. The next tool we have is spacing level. This will determine the spaces your brush jumps. As I increase this, you may see how choppy it looks. If I decrease this, you will see how fluid the pixels moves. Interpolation deals with the quality of the image as we transform. I recommended setting this to cubic. And that's pretty much of it on how to use the GIMP Warp Transform. If you want to watch another video related or relevant to this video you're watching right now, I have a playlist for you to watch. Just click right here, it has a list of sequenced video tutorials for you to watch. I recommended to you to watch this video tutorials in a sequence, starting from top to bottom video. If this video found to be helpful, or useful, leave a comment below, and also, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon for more tutorial videos in the future. And thank you for watching this video tutorial, and have a good day.